The sages said, O Sutta, Sutta, be long lived. Thou art a blessed devotee of Shiva. The greatness of Shiva's phallic image in according excellent benefit has been well explained by you. Now speak about the greatness of the earthen phallic image of Shiva, which is far superior to all others. Sutta said, O sages, all of you please listen with great devotion and respect. Now I am going to speak on the greatness of the earthly phallic image of Shiva. The earthly phallic image of Shiva is the most excellent of all such images of Shiva. Many brahmanas have achieved great things by worshipping it. O brahmanas, Hari, Brahma, Prajapati, and other sages have attained all they desired by worshipping this earthly phallic image. Devas, Asuras, men, Gandharvas, serpents, Rakshasas, and many others have attained greatness by worshipping it. The phallic emblem of Shiva made of precious gems was considered the best in the Krita age, of pure gold in the Dvapara, of mercury in the Treta, and of earth in the Kali age. Among the eight cosmic bodies of Shiva, the earthen body is the best. Since it is not worshipped by anyone else, O Brahmanas, it yields great benefit. Just as Shiva is the oldest and most excellent of all deities, so also his earthly phallic image is the most excellent of all. Just as the celestial river Ganga is the oldest and most excellent of all rivers, so also is the earthen phallic image of Shiva the most excellent of all. Just as the Pranava is considered the greatest of all mantras, so also the earthen phallic image of Shiva is the most excellent of all that is worthy to be worshipped. Just as the Brahmana is spoken of as the most excellent of all Varnas, so also is the earthen phallic image of Shiva the most excellent of all phallic images. Just as Kashi is considered the most excellent of all holy cities, so also the earthly phallic image of Shiva is spoken of as the most excellent of all other phallic images. Just as the rite of Shivaratri is the greatest of all sacred rites, so also the earthly phallic image of Shiva is the most excellent of all other phallic images. Just as Shiva's energy, Shakti, is considered the greatest of all goddesses, so also the earthen phallic emblem of Shiva is spoken of as the most excellent of all. If anyone, discarding the worship of the earthen phallic image, were to worship another deity, that worship becomes fruitless. Ceremonial ablutions, charitable gifts, etc. are of no avail. The propitiation of the earthly phallic image is sanctifying the bestower of bliss, longevity, satiety, nourishment, and fortune. It must be observed by all good aspirants. A devotee endowed with unflinching faith shall worship the earthen phallic image with such modes of worship as are easily available. It accords the achievement of all desired objects. He who worships the earthen phallic image after constructing an auspicious altar becomes affluent and glorious here itself and becomes rudra in the end. He who worships the earthen phallic image every day in the junctures of the threefold divisions of the day gains bliss for twenty-one future births. He is honored in Rudra Loka in this body alone. His body dispels the sins of every man by mere sight or touch. He is a living, liberated soul. He is wise. He is Shiva. There is no doubt. 
A mere sight of him accords enjoyment of worldly pleasures and salvation. He who worships the earthen phallic emblem of Shiva every day stays in Shiva Loka for so many years of Shiva as he had been visiting Shiva's temple in his life. If he had any wish, he would be reborn in the land of Bharata as a sovereign monarch. If a man without any desire worships the excellent earthen phallic image every day, he shall stay in Shiva's region forever. He shall attain Sayuja salvation. If a Brahmana does not worship the earthen phallic image, he shall fall into a terrible hell, with a terrible trident pierced through his body. The phallic image shall be made beautiful by any means. The pancha satra rite shall be performed with the earthen phallic image. The earthen phallic image shall be made as a single whole. If the image is made by joining two or more pieces, he will never derive the merit of worship. Whether it is made of gems, gold, mercury, crystal, or pusparaga, topaz, it shall be a single whole. All mobile phallic emblems shall be a single whole. Stationary phallic images shall be made of two pieces. This is the rule about broken and unbroken phallic images, both immobile and mobile. The pedestal is the great Maya. The phallic image is Lord Shiva. Hence, two-piece construction is recommended in the immobile image. It has been mentioned by those who know the principles of the Shaiva cult that a stationary phallic image shall be made of two pieces. Only those who are deluded by ignorance make the mobile phallic image of two pieces. The sages who know the Shaiva cult and are well versed in the Agamas, Shaiva sacred texts, do not enjoin that. Those who make a stationary phallic image as a single whole and a mobile one, pieced, are fools. They never reap the benefit of worship. Hence, one shall make with very great pleasure the mobile one as a single whole and the stationary one as two-pieced, according to rules laid down in the sacred texts. The worship of an unbroken mobile image yields full benefit, while the worship of a two-pieced mobile image brings about great harm. This has been stated by those who know the lore that the worship of a stationary image of a single piece not only withholds the cherished desire, but is also full of hazards.